Hi. Yes. Hello. And welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. No. Ashley, this is your second week in a row getting it wrong. Get your head in the game. Welcome back to another Millennial Movie Member Request. If you're new here, hi. My name is Ashley. And if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a Millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. That's on Mondays on Fridays. My top tier patrons, my Millennial Movie Members, can tell me any movie of any year of any genre and I gotta watch it. Today's request comes from Ingy Bingy 2000 and it is the 1998 Dirty Work. I have never heard of this film before. It came out four years after I came into the world. So I'm gonna look up a movie poster because <laughs> I, don't, I don't, Dirty Work, I don't know. It reminds me of that show, what was that guy who would go around and do like Dirty Jobs? It was called Dirty Jobs. Anyway, so that's what the title reminds me of. I don't think it's gonna be that, but let's do it, let's see. So this is what I am looking at. It's sick, it's dirty, it's their job. Norm MacDonald, Dirty Work. Revenge is sweet. I don't think I know who Norm Macdonald is. I don't know. Is this gonna be like blackmail? So I don't think I know Norm Macdonald. I can't read the fine print at the bottom that says other names. So I don't know who's in this and what they're doing. This very well might just be the shortest intro into any of my films. I guess the only way to find out what this movie is about, no more diddle dallying, let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Member Request, which is the 1998 Dirty Work starring Norm Macdonald. <laughs> it's beans. <laughs> Already established, I don't know that guy. Hand over the milk money, Weaver. I wouldn't be demanding stuff in a sweater that looks like that, my guy. I'm just not sure you'll spend it on milk. <laughs> oh, shit. Pops tried to fill in a little. He was a boxer. Rocky. 40 years later. <laughs> Do you know where he hides his guns? I'm sorry? What? <laughs> that is so extreme. I mean... He deserved that, though. Picture still makes me horny. I mean, wistful. Horny? Oh my god! I was gonna say, listen, we all do it. Console me, particularly Aunt Jenny. Get in it. <laughs> I started making little notes to myself. Boobs. Aunt Jenny is your aunt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if only it would work like that. If only. Who also happens to be gay. I grew up. Uh, don't do that. Don't grow up. That's stupid. Directed by Bob Saget. R.I.P. And you took 32 minutes? Don't be that way. Roots to come down here and get it from me themselves. Well, that's a good way to get it off of you. His voice sounds really familiar, so maybe I know Norm from somewhere else. You gotta be real bad at your job in order to get thrown out of a pizza place. Aw, and his girlfriend's leaving him sad. Nothing else to get me through this. I haven't heard this song in forever. That shirt's a little too big. My Canadian's jersey. Oh, that's his. Oh, explains why it's too big. That's your 14th job in the past three months. You know what? I'm kind of on her side on this one. Hey, maybe you'd feel better after we have some dirty sex. <laughs> Worth a try. Well, he got his popcorn machine. It's a pretty nasty flat, but I think I can fix it. Dude can't change his own flat? Ah! Here, here you go. Oh, Lord. I was uh, talking to somebody else that's different than you. <laughs> I kind of want to take my flat iron to that and see how long it can get. I don't blame you for watching it. But it'd be going a lot better if you brought me a whore. I subscribed to the Zoo magazine, they gave me a few ideas. That seems like a pretty targeted magazine right there. Damn, you know how I feel about your father, I'm, I'm uncomfortable around him. Beggar can't be chooser, man, you need a place to live, and this guy's nice enough to let you stay. I apologize, you rat bastard, you say Oh, he didn't mean it, oh, it was to get him, got it. Hell out of here, I'll kill this bastard, oh, I can still I'm watching Pilates videos with a magazine called Impotent, Impotent Old Men watching with, with horse, you know, like a normal thing. You why would bastard! You start 
Why would you start something with him? Why would you do that? Hey, Mazzetti, got Jimmy a beer on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so ready for this. Wipe off your hands so you're not sweaty. I live with my dad. That's a good opening line. It'll get her. I love opera. That guy is in a lot of stuff. There's two kinds of people in this world. Those who get stomped on and those who do the stomping. True. Sometimes you're a little bit of both. Check out the hot tub. Hey, pal, beat it. Don't be weird. Why is it always hot tubs? Why do men try to pick up women with hot tubs? We should let the lady decide. You know what? Honestly, it kind of works, though. Who doesn't like a good hot tub, though? Great idea. Brilliant idea. I love the idea. This idea is fantastic. Great. It's fighting time. Can I be on their side? <laughs> you just hit G8. If you like the... Dun, dun, getting caught in the rain. You can still fight to this song. You let me. I don't know all the words. Whoa, where do these five guys come from? I thought it was two against two. Learn to fight. <laughs> We've only been watching this movie for like 10 minutes and he's got thrown out of two establishments. But they're not real cops, they're fake cops. Why are you telling on yourself like this? Okay, no problem there, dude. Why does now his I voice not look like it belongs to his body? Does that make sense? Whatever you say, officer. What's it about? Oh my god! Oh. But number two, why would you rent oh. uniforms if you're just gonna call the real cops? Hey, frat sisters, remember us? Yeah. I get it now, I see now. How many hours of Pilates is this man gonna watch? Oh no, for real, he's having a heart attack. Oh god, okay. Oh, it's for real, okay. I thought it was just another really elaborate plan to like draw him over there. Could you stay with him for a while while I go find the doctor? The last time you did this, it did not work out well for Mitch. Yeah, well, I'm gonna find Sam. Mitch, sit your ass down! Maybe don't get worked up after having a heart attack. Being physically afraid of a hundred year old man who just had a coronary, so uh... <laughs> But rightfully so. Mitch, I'm your father. What? That's a picture of you and my mom, and you're having sex. Oh, why is it a sex picture in a locket? I'm sorry, son. I mean, I guess you wanted a good memory in there. They didn't have these fancy birth control meth, like pulling out. <laughs> uh, couldn't you guys have just taken like a DNA test instead of showing him a picture of you guys? Promise me you won't tell him. Promise you? I, I can't promise you. You've been lying to Mitch! Hello, I'm Dr. Farthing. Chevy Chase? Let me ask you, are you a betting man? Chevy Chase done got old. I'd bet everything I own uh, on death. Me as a doctor? Please, come back, sit down. Why is this scene such a mess? And why do I love it? Really nobody to blame for this but myself. Well, I don't know, maybe the Buffalo Bill. Oh, he's talking about his gambling problem. I thought he was talking about the dude's dad. Three and the you bet against Rocky? Hindsight is 2020, my friend. Hey, don't spoil anything. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Look, this is awful, but <laughs> I've given these bookies practically everything I have. Oh, so you don't need it for a heart. You needed to get yourself out of debt. Sam, are you pissing off the side of the building? Well, what if I got a job? Maybe I could pay this guy off in installment? That's a great idea, but I don't know how you're gonna make $50,000 in two weeks. Thanks, buddy. You're like a brother to me. The bastards! Man, that was a hell of a piss. I was gonna say, how much did he piss? Good God, he's hydrated. What are you... Oh, drive-by mooning, got it. Whole ass. Why would you park? He's gonna get out of the car after showing his whole ass? He was supposed to keep driving. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, it's 50 bucks for eating brownies. Sign me up. You know what, actually, I don't think it's worth it anymore. And you're getting hallucinations. Is that Adam Sandler? You know what, Mitch, I don't think you need to be the one driving right now. I'm going to explain to you my managing style. Why do I feel like this is a trap? Like a bucket of lard on a bad day. You. Oh my god. Hello, ice cream, having a good time, <laughs> running around. Oh my god. Got a personality like a dead moth. Okay. Oh, well that was quick. Hmm. That wasn't so bad. 
The exact same thing our first day working for Hamilton. Only nobody ever does anything. Oh, well, you're talking to two different people who's gonna do it. I'll give you 10 bucks. Mark me down for 20. We gonna make bank today. Let me get you some refreshments. For free at a movie theater? I've never seen Men in Black in general, but like, this title's interesting. This alien looks just like a hot guy. You're right, we better have sex with him. I support that logic. Dude, that was amazing. You should do that stuff for a living. Is this how Impractical Jokers was born? I never heard of a revenge for hire business. I like this idea. It's like a hitman without killing him, you know? I punch you in the stomach, eh? Okay, I understand. Mildred! Hey, Mildred! You mean to tell me her name is Mildred? It's not Mildred, it's Kathy. Oh no, I didn't forget. You never told me, so I just guessed. Okay. Kathy's way better than Mildred. Kicking this other guy? I threw this one dude right through a plate glass window. It sounds like what they did to you. So where are we going? Like your apartment or something now? Or? What an interesting, uh, you know, like, come on, he's got. What are you, a dirty car salesman? No, I'm a dirty accountant. Tell me more. Get your ass in here! Now! That guy! That guy's in a lot of stuff, too! that you each get $20, and this requires no sex. Nice. This is so we can get a free commercial for dirty work on live television. <gasps> Smart. I see where we're going. But I'm right here with you, live. Why are you doing your hands like this? Hey, the trunk uh, looks kind of small there, Anton. This is live. I'm on live TV. You're on live TV. Calm down. Well, you got a dead hooker oh. in the trunk. What? No. Oh my goodness! What are you doing? I've never seen- You get a dead hooker! You get a dead hooker! Everybody gets a dead hooker! <laughs> They're fully loaded! The They're trunk loaded is definitely dead hooker. <laughs> Same joke. Time to pay the fiddler, whore! I just feel like this is a side quest that I need more information about. Oh, that's when I started working with Stag Films. What? Stag Films? Films meaning porn. I won't tell them. Yeah. No. Oh! Ooh, stop shaking it. And why did they add the water sound effect? Note to self. <laughs> That's very funny. Any bleeding? Only when I sit down. Ouch. Sam, you okay? Sleeping out of the wrong way, or from bookmakers throwing me out of a speeding car. I think it's the second one. He's also a good man. God, okay. Jeez, it took you that long to come up with a lie? You're my best friend, man. I love you like a brother. I think you were helping me with that disgusting stunt in the car lot? Uh, well, it was mostly for himself, but he was hoping to impress you. You shouldn't work for a guy who treats you bad like that anyway. True. Can I get a little help down here? He really leaned into that part, huh? Calls me names, hits me. Your classic dwarf hater. The bearded lady? If her face is that hairy, can you imagine? staircase that's beautiful okay this is reminding me of grumpy old men where one dude throws the fish in the back of the car also talking about stinky things um one time in english class i took off my shoe i have really sweaty feet and they smell not great and anyways i took off my shoes and we placed it in the window we cracked the window and placed it in the window for it to waft through the classroom and anyways my teacher started gagging a little bit. We almost had to switch classrooms, then I put my shoe back on and she said, Ashley, you should probably go to the doctor about that. This is a drug house? Double for me! <laughs> yeah, y'all guys are kind of way in over your heads. Y'all really just standing there with fish in your hands. I really don't know what I expect them to do in this moment other than exactly what they're doing. We're chainsawing bodies today. The bolder you Good go check Lord. on. The squish noises. I never asked you to do this. It wasn't oh, them. Hey. It's a very long story, but it wasn't them. I think one of my favorite things is that they have Sam in hey, constantly message. tight shirts, and then they have Mitch in like these oversized baggy things. <laughs> that answer machine is like indestructible. No, no, I can hear you fine. It must be uh, uh, your phone. <laughs> Definitely not mine. You thinking what I'm thinking? No, 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 no. I have a plan. Oh. <laughs> The classic popcorn prank. Hi, new friends. You know what prisoners do to each other all the time? You don't know? Clearly, he keeps asking. Is it taking you this long to explain? Not you, Tubby. 
dangerous act of mischief. <gasps> Look at that little chihuahua. I also love how he has a painting of him and his chihuahua of above his desk. I love that. Classy. You know what hurts the most is the, the lack of respect. Is, is that what hurts the most? Except for the other thing. That hurts the most, but the lack of respect. Just some deep breaths. Maybe a couple shots before it's fine. Ridiculous. Why well, does your face tell me you kind of liked it, though? Right now, all three of us are going out for popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, if you're interested, I think I have a job for you. Ah! Look at how this worked out. Building I own over at 99 <laughs> Franklin Street. Don't point with the dog! Everyone will be evicted. Legally. And condemning a building is a lot different than a harmless prank. 50,000 it is. Oh, should have asked for 70. All right, boys, bring on the whore. No. <laughs> Close. $50,000 for your heart transplant. Well, that's good, too. Well, if you want a whore, you're going to have to have a sturdy heart. Well, what are you so jumpy about? Your lifelong pattern of random assault. <laughs> yeah, that'll make a person flinch. That's Sam's mom. Irene. Oh, you can look as long as it's not your own mother. Got it. We go in, we wreck the joint, pops is saved. No, you're not supposed to wreck it. You're supposed to condemn it. Well, that's one way to get everybody out is to spray for bugs. What havoc are you planning to wreak now? Well, it depends. Did you come back to apologize? Oh, your grandmother lives here? In the building they're gonna condemn. They work with my grandmother. She runs a business out of her apartment. What kind of business? A drug business? Oh, no, no, I have to go, uh, lift weights. Yeah, no, that sounded convincing. Tell me that that sweet girl's grandmother runs a whorehouse out of the building. Or, <laughs> or, or she's a drug lord. We don't know which one yet. You're really starting to like this Kathy, aren't you? No. <laughs> okay, why is Mitch kind of cute? Look at his little dimples. I really like him, actually. See why women find Sean Connery sexy? No. I hate the fact that we have to destroy her grandmother's building. But we have to. Yep. Bitches get money, you know what I'm saying? Wow, their go-to thing is fish, isn't it? Oh, uh, I don't do I don't do buggies. No, thank you. <laughs> Yo, would it really blow up like that though? Why? Why would you choose the toilet that has the bomb in it? Go to another one. <gasps> and then you can shit in it and then throw the bomb. That way whenever it explodes, shit's everywhere. <laughs> oh, God! Do y'all not have some sort of plan as to who gets into what apartment? I've been running a sewing business out of my apartment for the past 30 years. Oh, it was sewing. Hmm. And you know how I feel about the homeless. Human beings. And they have no homes. <laughs> Very descriptive. Very accurate. Mr. Cole said to tell you services will no longer be needed. Oh, uh, but his payment is needed. Ah. God! Three buildings he's been thrown out of. Why didn't they throw Sam like that? Spiritless, mm. I've lost the will to live type homeless. I see, I feel that. I lied. Good luck trying to prove it. Okay, but you still need to pay. They did the services rendered. <laughs> I guess I showed you guys a thing or two about dirty work. Oh, I see now. And Sam just walks out. Sam just walks out, smokes a cigarette. I was laughing so hard, I almost shit my pants. <laughs> Been there. You really thought that she was a drug dealer? No, no, I thought she was a whore. <laughs> she, your grandma wasn't a whore. She was the one that pimped him out. You know what? Uh, she has every right to be mad at this one. She didn't have every right to be mad at the prostitutes in the trunk, but she does have a right to be mad here. I'm Mitch's father too. Oh, he really did tell him. Okay, I thought he was gonna say something dumb. You cheated on mom? She was there too. Who do you think took the picture? Well, you're into what you're into. Do you have any idea how hard that man can squeeze a pair of balls? <laughs> Funny sicking the cops on us like that. Yeah. Oh no, now everybody's gonna catch on. You thought it was bad to get thrown in a dumpster as a child. Imagine being a grown-ass man. Catch him staring at me sleeping, which is off-putting. Sleeping with your eyes open? Absolutely. Sleeping in a car is like... Ah! Well, you know what? Actually, I guess in this case it is. Sorry. <laughs> Did people really used to sleep in nightcaps? I left the recorder on. So he caught the other guy. I told you I did, but I lied. We got him caught now. It was really a bunch of trouble for nothing because we were already brothers. Yeah, but you're talking about something that happened in the second grade. So let's like move on. 
I was sneaking a peek at my own sister's underwear. Don't say it with such a grin. You had sex with her? <laughs> Jail. Yeah, when you were in jail, man, those guys ah! could We don't talk about what happened in jail. What happens in jail stays in jail. My dad boned his mom. Okay, it's a short story. Yeah, Sam, that's how any baby's got here. If I screw up, y'all get to kick my ass. Yeah, that's more like it. I like that plan. <gasps> don't screw me over again. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot they needed a punch in the stomach. He punch you, too. That's your department. That's your department. Company name? That's my favorite costume company. The brownies that make you have rashes or itch or anything. Lord, I'm in who heaven. Oh my God. <laughs> Gary Coleman. I feel like I'm supposed to know Gary Coleman and I just don't. Is he the one that has the grills? That's George Foreman. Who's Gary Coleman? You know, I know I must really smell. Plus I farted. <laughs> hey, did you fart? Oh, you know, I think that was me from before. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, it's John Goodman. John Goodman. You didn't count on my loyal army of prostitutes, did you? <laughs> and the one that bites noses off. You're ruining Don Giovanni. Oh, no, not Don Giovanni. Did you know you can have a skunk as a pet? Like, I mean, all you gotta do is get their little stink sack removed out of that booty. And I mean, they like purr like cats and stuff, and they're very soft. Making love to blow up doll, not as good as advertised. Uh, I don't think you used enough lube on that one then. Back and enjoy a nice tall, cold glass of chihuahua piss or something. <laughs> For $50,000, you got he that? He ain't gonna remember this, baby. I don't hey, know what Jenkins, how you? Good, Jenkins, I'm counting on you. Not the worst hallucination to be having, I guess. Thanks. Best $200 I ever spent. <laughs> it looks like $200. Sometimes you gotta remind the hen who the rooster is. When I say let's go, you go! Time you shut your cake hole, Yoko! Oh my god, okay. Well, that's a very healthy relationship. You bit my new nose off! No one is surprised by that ending. Glad it's here. I just hope the doctor can fix up another part of my body. It rhymes with cock. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's it. Bye. <laughs> That's it. Bye. <laughs> Say your line again, right? <laughs> You and me. Okay, let's go. It's and lonely. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love when movies include bloopers. Let's talk about it. Okay, there is no way that I could have guessed how this movie was gonna go in the preview review. No way. There's simply no way. Honestly, honestly, the idea of a revenge job isn't awful. Cause again, it's like having a hitman, but you're not trying to somebody you know you're just trying to make uh inconvenience i think if i worked at dirty works i think one of my pranks would be to go into people's houses and steal all their remotes that way they had to be inconvenienced by getting up and turning on the television it's nothing big it's enough to piss you off that's what she said this is such a fun cute quick little movie i laughed a lot i laughed a lot this is just a fun little mindless quick wit humor and Norm McDonald sounds really sounds really familiar. I don't think I've ever seen him in anything, but it, his voice sounds familiar. Once again, his voice does not fit his body. I don't know if that makes sense. I'll tell you what, this movie would be even like funnier. Have some friends over, maybe have a couple drinks, maybe, you know, partake in some devil's lettuce activities, and this movie would be even funnier. I'm gonna give it, I had a great time. I'm gonna give this movie five out of five stars. I thought it was great. It's quick. It's funny. It's a simple humor. And honestly, honestly, I needed that today. I needed a simple humor movie. So five out of five stars for me on Dirty Work. Inky Binky, thank you so much for getting me to watch this. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this. Like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside of the YouTubeverse. Coming up on the channel, Monday is the Green Mile. Friday is Defending Your Life. That's what's coming up on the channel. Hope you like, subscribe, stick around, and I'll see you right back here on Monday. Bye.